Hello, my dear sixth grade students. How are you? How is it going? I hope everything is okay. Now, today we will learn Unit 7. It's about shopping around. We will talk about types of shops, shopping center, money. Are you ready? Let's start. Now we will talk about types of shops. Butcher. He is a butcher. He is a popular Turkish butcher. You know his name. His name is Nusret. He is a butcher. Bakery. Bookshop. Florist, green grocer, green grocer, new sergeant, pharmacy, women's shoes shop. Now let's talk about money. This is money. It's Turkish currency. Turkish currency. We make shopping with money. We exchange money. We exchange money. Can you see euro and dollars? It's exchange. Lisa purse. We keep money in the Lisa purse in our Lisa wallet again we keep money in the leather purse and in the leather wallet it's leather wallet we keep our money in it piggy banks everybody has got piggy banks i hope we pocket money we collect money Now let's talk about shopping center. This is shopping center cinema. It's department store. Big shop or big store. Department store. It's a woman department store. Escalator. Escalator. Food court, food court, sell, shop assistant and shopper or customer. She is customer, she is shop assistant. Shopping center food court, shopping center or shopping mall discount. Can you see discounts? Shopping center public toilet. And this is shopping purse or shopping bag, you can say. A bag of apples, a bag of apples, bar of chocolate, a bottle of shampoo, a bottle of shampoo, a box of cream cake, a bunch of flowers, a can of cola, a jar of raspberry jam, a loaf of bread, a loaf of bread, a packet of crisps, vegetable price, can you see price of tomatoes, yes this is price, well now it's time to start to do our exercise,
At the speaking part, please everybody open your student's book at page 88. Students' books, Unit 7, page 88. Let's start with the new shoes. Now, well, Lee going to buy the red trainers. Watch or listen and check. Let's watch. Hi Amy, listen, so we're going to take the train to Clearwater Shopping Center on Saturday and I'm going to buy some trainers. Are you going to study again? So we're taking the Expo bus from the bus stop on Mandela Avenue at 10.15. Great! See you tomorrow at 10.15. <laughs> You? Yes, I'm looking for a pair of trainers. These ones are on sale. How much are they? $19.99. That's a good price, Lee. You should get them. Can I try them on, please? Of course. What size are you? Uh, 41. Oh, they're too small. Uh, excuse me. Have you got them in a bigger size? I think so. Just a second. Here you are. Here you are. Here you are. These ones are the right size. Great, because I'm fed up. This is the fifth shop we... But... I don't like the colour. Excuse me, have you got these in blue? Lee, are you going to buy them or not? Yes. I'll take them. Here you are. Hey, wait for me! Don't forget your change! Is Lee going to buy the red trainers? What do you think? Okay, now in this unit we will uh, learn new vocabulary. They are here. Shopping for clothes. Selfish fashion. You need to understand, can I help you, these ones are on sale, what size are you, the changing rooms are over there, don't forget your change, you need to say, I'm looking for, how much is it, how much are they, can I try it? Can I try them on, please? It's good. It's too big. They are too big. Or they are too small. Have you got it? Have you got it them in a smaller or bigger size? Have you got another color? I will take it. I will take the blue one. I will take them. I will take those ones. Now let's do exercise 3. Now complete the dialogue with the phrases from the speaking box. Listen and check. Let's do this exercise all together. Shop assistant. Customer. Hello, can I help you? Customer. I'm looking for a t-shirt. Those ones, those ones, those ones on sale. How much is it? 
nine pounds ninety-nine. Can I try it on, please? Yes, of course. The changing room the changing rooms are over there. Oh, it's too big. Have you got a smaller size? If it's big, we will ask for a smaller size. Yes, here you are. Oh, yes, that's better. I'll take it. Great, don't forget your change. Goodbye. Now let's listen and check. Hello, can, can I, I help, help you? you? I'm looking for a t-shirt. This one's on sale. How much is it? £9.99. Can I try it on, please? Yes, of course. The changing rooms are over there. Oh, it's too big. Have you got it in a smaller size? Yes, here you are. Oh, yes, that's better. I'll take it. Great. Don't forget your change. Goodbye. Mm. That's great. Now, let's do an next exercise. Okay. Do you want to do you want the black shoes or the brown ones? Complete the sentence with one or once. We use once shoes. They are a couple of shoes. That's why we use once. This belt is too small. Belt is one thing. And you got a bigger one. I will take the pink shirt. But I don't want the green one because T-shirt is one. My headphones aren't as good as these. Headphones, they are couple. That's why we use ones. Now let's submit. Oh, we do not choose. We use ones. Yes, that's right. Headphones and shoes are a couple of things. Now, my dear students, that's it for today. Take care of yourself and please listen again and again this new vocabulary. Goodbye.